Hi friends, Namaste from India. I am Dr. Suri Khan from King George Medical University, Lucknow, India. Dear friends, I really want to congratulate Shobha Shukla ji and CNS for the wonderful organization of this virtual event. Tuberculosis is a major health of major health problem of not only India but it's a problem of all developing countries. And this is not only an infectious disease, which is the one of the biggest killer in the world and in our country, as India is suffering the burden of tuberculosis in form of about 5 lakhs deaths per year. So India is the highest TB burden and having a lot of significant health problem impact on the economy of the India on the health burden issues of the India. And if you see globally, since 1993, tuberculosis has been declared as a global emergency. And for last 40 years, this global emergency is going on. I don't remember any disease has run such a long global health emergency. So I think we have to concentrate on so many things on tuberculosis and moreover beyond the box for example if you want to really eradicate tuberculosis eliminate tuberculosis or control tuberculosis whatever you know the STG goals have set the target of 2023 to end TB from this world but in India it has been decided by Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji that we want to end TB by 2025 but really are competent enough, but really are prepared enough, we really have the preparedness and capacity building of the infrastructure, of the healthcare workers, and so many other things. Now I can highlight you that what are the other problems which you have to address other than the diagnosis and treatment of tuberculosis. Now if you think of that you want to really eliminate tuberculosis from the world and from India, you have to take care of first thing that is malnutrition because malnutrition has 10 times of risk developing tuberculosis now if you think that you want to eliminate tb from india and from the world you have to address the issue of malnutrition number one number two if you really want to address the, the elimination of tuberculosis from the global map and in india and in developing countries the second important thing is the air pollution because air pollution is also one of the biggest problem not only in our country but it's a global problem and recent global air report 2024 says that out of the 10 people nine are not taking the healthy breath this is impure breath so air pollution is the second factor third if you really want to address the issue of elimination of tuberculosis, you have to take care of the tobacco cessation, the smoking cessation. We have done a wonderful study in 2009 in our Department of Respiratory Medicine, King George Medical University, Lucknow, India, and we have shown that really smoking, which is the traditional smoking of the India and developing countries, and it is not known rather what is BD smoking in the Western world. Western world knows only cigarette smoking, but BD smoking is more harmful than the cigarette smoking, number one. And the smoking having 2.5 times of odds ratio for developing tuberculosis means the smokers are having 2.5 times higher chances for developing tuberculosis and this these smokers have higher mortality also briefly if you want to have so this is the third important point the fourth is so many other non-communicable diseases as a comorbid condition and which are decreasing the immunity of the body so the main important non-communicable diseases are the diabetes is one and cancer is two and so many other diseases chronic heart disease chronic liver diseases chronic uh, uh, kidney diseases the chronic lung diseases, they are all the non-communicable diseases but having vulnerability for tuberculosis because of the decrease in immune response. So I think we have to address all these comorbid conditions. So you cannot even imagine to eliminate tuberculosis if you don't address these non-communicable diseases. Another thing is 
that is correlation of HIV tuberculosis. We have done a wonderful study in 2003-04 that shows that around roughly 3% of tuberculosis patients they having HIV uh, incidence also and roughly same 2.8% or so HIV patient they are having incidence of tuberculosis also latest report also shows 4 to 5% so I think we have to address whenever we are addressing the tuberculosis we have to address HIV also and that's why government of India has issued the bi-directional order for the important diseases like when you are testing the tuberculosis you should also HIV uh, you should te also test HIV when you should test HIV you should also screen for tuberculosis whenever you are screening for uh, tuberculosis you should also is screen for uh, the uh, diabetes and whenever you should screen for tuberculosis you should also screen for the tobacco and smoking so I think these three components now they are part of the India's national TB elimination program and I would appreciate as a chairman of the North Zone Task Force of TB elimination program in India so I'm looking after the nine state affairs of the TB elimination program in India and I'm confident that these three components which are doing routinely recording in our national TB elimination program of India they can be a uh, role model and can be a very important uh, you can say advisory steps for the other countries also hybrid countries that whenever you are addressing the tuberculosis you are you should also think of three things that is tobacco diabetes HIV and also I would suggest fourth component is the nutrition as well as fifth component as comorbid condition so thank you thank you very much for this wonderful opportunity and I am really congratulate again Shobhaji and the CNS for this wonderful great mega event virtual of course thank you thank you